Hi, uh, my name is Mike Fradley. I am a cardio-oncologist from the University of Pennsylvania. Um, it was really an honor to be invited to be part of ASCO faculty this year, particularly since I'm not even an oncologist. I'm a, a cardiologist uh, attending this meeting. Um, and I had the pleasure of uh, being a part of a panel uh, discussing cardio-oncology uh, and how to best mitigate risk amongst cancer patients who are exposed to therapies that may impact their heart. Uh, it was really uh, a fantastic conversation with uh, an oncologist, Dr. Ann Blaze, uh, and also a, a patient advocate from uh, the United Kingdom. And we were able to uh, discuss in a case-based fashion how to best approach the cardiovascular care of oncology patients. What really made this unique was that Ms. Uh, Dimon is a cancer survivor who developed very serious cardiovascular issues as a result of her cancer treatment. And I think this was a really wonderful opportunity for us to learn in a multidisciplinary fashion how to best approach these patients from the beginning of their cancer diagnosis through survivorship. I think it's really wonderful that ASCO uh, decided to have a session on cardio-oncology this year because this truly is a multidisciplinary field that is at its core collaborative between medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, as well as cardiologists focused on uh, both the treatment of cardiovascular issues in cancer patients, but also the prevention of toxicity. And that's ultimately what we want to do. We want to figure out ways to ensure that patients can uh, get appropriate treatments for their cancer, survive their cancer, and have a long, wonderful life without any sort of cardiovascular issues becoming a barrier for them. Uh, Ms. Dimon's uh, shared her story about her treatments and then um, her development of significant heart failure, and also the fact that she did not receive a lot of information about the possibility that these uh, issues could develop. And so through our conversations, I hope we were able to uh, educate the audience a little bit about our approach to risk mitigation in cancer patients. I often use something called the ABCDE approach, uh, which is very simplistic, but it's a good framework for discussion. It's also very simplistic because it allows us to have conversations that are easy for patients to grasp. We think about things like awareness of symptoms, blood pressure control, cholesterol control, diet and diabetes control, and then exercise. Um, and this is something that cardiologists can discuss with patients patients, oncologists can discuss with patients, even general practitioners can discuss with patients. And, and I really hope that sessions like this will continue and also these collaborative interactions between uh, various specialties so we can provide the best possible care for our cancer patients and survivors.